click create document and name your document pantograph click OK click sketch select the top plane right click view normal to sketch plane hide the top the front and the right planes select the line tool click from the origin and then drag to your right make sure that you're drawing a horizontal line click and then press the escape key on your keyboard select the line and then select construction to turn it into a construction line select the dimension tool select the line click drag type four inches next click on the arrow beside the offset tool select slot click at the origin and then click outside after you'll see that this is 0.5 or half an inch in diameter so let's change that to 0.25 Let's zoom in, select the center point circle, draw three circles, draw one here, draw one somewhere in the center, and then draw one at the other end. Use the dimension tool to dimension the first circle. Click drag, type 0.125 for its diameter. Now select the equal constraint, which is this. Select the first circle and then select the second circle and then select the first circle and select the third circle. They're now the same diameter. Select the dimension tool, click at the center of the first circle and click at the center of the second circle. Click and drag and then type three. Now that our sketch is fully constrained, click check right click isometric select extrude click on the inside of your sketch and then type 0.125 for the extrusions depth click check to accept create a new sketch click sketch and click on the top surface of the part that you just made right click View normal to sketch plane. Go to sketch one and click the eye to show sketch one. Select line. Now draw a line from the origin up to the center of the second circle. Press escape. Select that line. Select construction. Click on construction to unselect it and then click slot and then click that line. Change the dimension from 0 0.05 to 0 0.25 and then click on any blank part to finalize that slot. Select use, select the first circle and then the second circle. Click check. Right click isometric. Hide the first sketch by clicking on the eye icon. And now we are ready to extrude the second sketch. Click extrude. Select sketch two. Click new. And then put a depth of 0.125. Click check. So you should have two parts now. Part one, which is the longer piece, and then part two, which is shorter. Once more, click sketch. Rotate your figure so that you could see the back side of the longer piece. Click on that surface. Right click, view normal to sketch plane. Unhide sketch one so that we could see the lines that we made before. 
click on the line tool and draw from this center of this circle up to the center of that circle. Press escape, select that line that you just drew, turn it into a construction line, click dimension, and just make sure that that comes out to one inch. Okay, press enter, select slot, click on that line to create a slot. If the arc of your slot shows a diameter of 0.25, leave it as is. If not, go type it and then click outside. Click use, select that circle and then the second circle. Click check. Now you have your drawing here. All you need to do now is to extrude it. So select that drawing. Make sure to select new. And then for the depth, type 0.125. Click check. And then hide sketch one. So here's what you have so far. We are going to draw the last piece. So do another sketch and we could sketch it here this time. Right click, view normal to sketch plane. Click use, click this circle and then click check. Go ahead and extrude that circle. And then we want a new piece, a new part. And then we just want to extend this to about 0.25. Then press enter. And then click check. So you've drawn four different parts. And we could name each part now. So the first one is the long piece. So right click, rename. Part one is long. Select part two, right click, rename it medium right click part three rename it short and then for part four rename it name it the pin now we're ready to assemble 